Hey guys, so I tell like it is, you know, some people are saying that the ultimate warrior for this NBA Finals is supposed to be uh, LeBron James, but that is so obviously not the case. In this video, I, I explain why Kevin Durant is the ultimate warrior for this NBA Finals and why the Golden State Warriors are going to go down as possibly the greatest team in NBA history, the greatest team in NBA history the year after the greatest comeback in the NBA Finals, it's all scripted by the numbers. To start off, the number 16 is really big this year. The 16-17 season adds up to 33. Masonry equals 33, the 16-17 NBA season. The season that started in the year 16, 16 equals 96. 2017 NBA Finals. Kevin Durant versus LeBron James. Warriors sweep the Cavs. All equal 96. This is all scripted, predetermined knowledge of the Masons that Reagan script the world of professional sports. And the ultimate warrior is Kevin Durant. You see Kevin Durant, uh, he signed with the Golden State Warriors on July the 7th. The 7th day of the 7th month. 7-7. Likewise, on 7-7, the Ultimate Warrior signed with the Warriors on July the 7th. Ultimate Warrior in Gematria equals 77. Kevin Durant announced that he was going to join Golden State on the 4th of July. July the 4th of 2016. 7-4 Kevin Durant. And the Ultimate Warrior is Kevin Wayne Durant. Has the number 74 contained in it. Signed with the announced he was going to join the Warriors on the seventh month in the fourth day of July 74. The Warriors 67 wins in the regular season, 16 and 0 in the postseason is super significant. The Warriors would win their 83rd game to uh, win this NBA Finals. Swept equals 83. The Cavs would truly be swept in the Warriors' 83rd game. Sort of like the San Antonio Spurs scoring 83 points in Game 4 of the 2007 NBA Finals the last time they got swept. Likewise, greatest team of all time in Gematri equals 83. It would be this year's Golden State Warriors club. Greatest of all time equals 71, 71st NBA Finals. But the main thing that leads people into the wrong direction is thinking that greatest of all time means LeBron James, where it clearly means the Golden State Warriors. But LeBron's time is going to come a little bit later on, four years from now. There was an airstrike launched on April the 13th at Syria by the United States. They bombed an underground tunnel where ISIS was supposedly at, and the bomb that they launched was called MOB. The mother of all bombs was the name of the bomb. The mother of all bombs, interesting enough, equals 83. So you think about a super, super big bomb set off, and this is the symbolic kind of domination that we would see from the Golden State Warriors in this NBA Finals. The amount of time uh, between the mother of all bombs uh, being launched on April the 13th of 2017 and the end of the NBA Finals, as you see, equals 57 days. Now people are led into the wrong direction too. The phrase defend the land given to the Cleveland Cavaliers, defend the land equals 57, but that doesn't mean they're going to win because 57 is also a championship number. 57 equals 131 and World Series equals 131. But this is just super, super symbolic. Defending the land. The amount of time between the mother of all bombs being launched and the end of the NBA Finals that I'm predicting on June the 9th is a time span of 57 days. So it's looking like defend the land is not leaning towards the Cleveland Cavaliers winning 
you know, World War III is not going to be launched in America, so you can't have a Cleveland Cavaliers comeback if you want to talk about a symbolic tribute for World War III. But a time span of a month and 27 days between the end of the NBA Finals, I'm predicting, and the mother of all bombs being launched is even more significant the more that I find out about 127. I talked about Jesuit Red Jules with the Golden State Warriors in my first video about the sweep. You can check out, but Vatican City, Golden State Warriors win it all, and Kevin Durant will sweep King James equals 127. This Ultimate Warrior tribute in the Mother of All Bombs is super, super significant. Also, like I said in my past video on the Warriors winning, resembling World War III propaganda, 64 days between the airstrikes on April the 6th and the end of the NBA Finals on June the 9th. King James equals 50, uh, 35. This is super simple. King James record in NBA Finals 3-5. and five. In the phrase 16-0 and 0 equals 57 and defend the land having the same tributes. This would all boil down to Kevin Durant and his President Trump tributes signaling that we're going to head into a World War III sometime later in the year. Interesting that the phrase the ultimate warrior dominates King James has number 64 contained in it 64 days between April the 6th. Those airstrikes on the 100 year anniversary of declaring war and World War, Th World War I and the end of the NBA Finals. The Zion number, as you guys all know, Zion equals 64 and the mother of all bombs also equals 64 and this is what would be representative the ultimate warrior dominating the Cavaliers, the mother of all bombs, one of the biggest non-nuclear bombs that America has launched, Donald Trump's war and the Warriors once again. But Kevin Durant's birthday is on September the 28th, the amount of time uh, between the end of the NBA Finals and his birthday on September the 29th. I do not have a calculator, there's a time span of 112 days. And Catholicism, Zionist equals 112. You know, the, the contract that Kevin Durant signed with the Warriors signed for $54 million. The end of the NBA Finals on June the 9th multiplies equals 54. I talk about the real Ultimate Warrior, the WWE wrestler. But the grandmaster plan in this NBA Finals is to have Kevin Durant dominate, playing like he has everything to lose. Ultimate Warriors swept the Cavaliers 196 in grandmaster plan. Now we talk about the real Ultimate Warrior, James Brian Helwig, born in the year 1959, 59 and 19, add up to 78. NBA Finals equals 70, uh, 78. Oh boy, I exited out of my calculator. But let me get my calculator up again and just show you what I mean. Just really quickly. Helwig. James Bryan Helwig. James Brian Helwig, okay, his name using a Scottish initial for your middle name equals 54 in numerology, this sweep that I am predicting, okay, Cleveland struggles are going to continue, they lost the World Series, they lost the, on the 30th day of October, the first day, the second day of November, and once again, this NBA Finals on the first day, the fourth day, the seventh day, and the ninth day, Cleveland would lose six straight games in the championship series adds up to 54 Kevin Wayne Durant du Kevin W Durant equals 54 as well and he also died at 54 years of age in Scottsdale Kevin Durant's contract was signed for 54 million on July the 7th and the amount of time between his death date on April the 8th and the end of the NBA Finals will have to be super significant. It's a time span of 62 days between April the 8th and June the 9th. Two months and one day is a lot like 21. Jesuit also equals 21. 
the first, second, the seventh, and the ninth. Add up to twenty. Add up to twenty-one. That should be the fourth, by the way, instead of the second. Game two is being played on June the fourth. But Durant wins it all. Equals sixty-two. He represents the ultimate warrior. The amount of time between the ultimate warriors. Death day of April the eighth and June the ninth. A time span of 62 days. Also, Mason equals 62. The year 60 and 17, adding up to 33 again. And all of the 96 references for this NBA Finals just further supports the notion that we may end up seeing a sweep in this NBA Finals. June the 16th of 1959, a lot of people are saying that there's going to be a Game 7 on June the 16th, but... The number 54, 64, and 57 further point towards this series ending in 54 days. It all has to do with the Warriors dominating the Cavs. Down 3-1 to one last year without Kevin Durant. This year with Kevin Durant, there won't be any scripting for LeBron this time. Kevin Durant, number 35. Drops King James to a 3-5 and five record in the NBA Finals. Kevin Durant 1-4 against LeBron in the Finals with four more wins. 4-0 and in this NBA Finals. Brings Kevin Durant to a 5-4 and four record in the NBA Finals. So a sweep most likely going to happen. I'd be really, really shocked if the Warriors are not up 2 to nothing at the least. The public right now betting on the Cavs. Not only betting trend-wise, but higher payouts, it's not going to end well for the Cavs.